धन्यवाद मसूदी जी नेक्स्ट श्री इम्तियाज जलील जी Mr Speaker sir any decision any bill that aims at promoting education in the country is always welcome this bill the central university amendment bill 2023 which aims at establishing a university specifically and specially for the tribal population is definitely a welcome move and the basic idea behind it is to provide avenues of higher education and research facilities among the tribal population Mr Speaker there are 800 there are over 800 tribes in this country and we value their contribution in our growth story at a time when we are establishing one more university we need to ask some tough questions mr minister there are 1182 universities in this country out of which 56 are central universities why is it so that none of these universities we have 1182 universities not one of the university features among the top 200 universities of the world not a single one and among them even 56 central universities we proudly claim that we have 56 central universities our only university that features is 300 is ranked somewhere around 320 so the big question is are we not compromising on quality and stressing more on quantity ki dekhiye hamari sarkar ne kitne sare vishwavidyalay kitne sare universities aur kitne sare colleges khol le we need to compete at the international level mr mr minister can you apprise us of the number of scheduled tribe students who are availing higher education is it not a fact that just like the muslim community the scheduled tribes have the highest number of dropouts in the in this country almost about 25% please correct me if i am wrong is it not a fact that those scheduled tribe students who have at a, who have got all the education they are not getting jobs because of the contractual system that you have adopted so there's no question of reservation for scs and sts because there is a new contractual system while number i admit that there have been number of commissions and committees that were constituted by the government to address the economic and social plight of the scheduled tribes education of the tribal population why is it that it continues to be dismal mr speaker is it not a fact that 19000 sc st and obc students had to drop out of the premier institutes like iits iims and central universities what was the reason and among those 19000 2622 were st students is it because of the rampant casteism and discriminatory practices which is why also the reason that 32 students from these elite institutes committed suicide and this data was provided to us by the union minister of state for education subhas sarkar in april this year mr speaker i was listening to number of speakers from the ruling party yesterday i would specially like to mention one lady member of parliament she proudly said that see it is our government the government of mr narendra modi that made mr apj abdul kalam a muslim as the president no he deserved that place which is why he rose to the rank of the president of india then she said that we made a scheduled caste ramnath kovind as the president of india he deserved that what have you done for their community the third is she very proudly said we made a scheduled tribe a tribal woman as the president of india mr minister i would like to ask one question draupadi murmu the president of india lives next door to this palatial building that has been built by you my question to you is why was she not invited for the inauguration of this parliament building she happens to be the custodian of the parliament building she lives next door and there were heroines that were roaming around in this parliament building when it was inaugurated and you don't invite a tribal president of india mr minister mr speaker i would just conclude by saying aapne ek tribal mahila ko ek kursi to de di us samaj ko samman dena bhi sikhiyega dhanyawad thank you shri dhapir gau ji Thank you honorable chairman sir 
I raise to support the Central University 